Well, welcome back. Good good morning to each and every one of you. Um, it's so good to be back. To, um, you know, every day is not a guarantee to none of us. So I am blessed to still be able to do this. As I come today, I um, bring in the, the revelation that I got for for day 24. And the room was... 27 that I went in and the script here for open doors in heaven it's it's revelation 4 and I still read it every day because there are new people listening a revelation 4 verse 1 after this I look and behold a door was open in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hinder, and I will show you these things which must be hereafter. So John was standing there, and he looked up, and the father said, Come up. And all of us can do that. He didn't die before he saw what was in heaven. We can see heaven now. So today, in door number 27 it was unity unity in the church he said because we do not have unity and i'm just going there is a lot of verses more than 24 um but i just picked out six that the lord gave me and um he was telling me about we we cannot we, we have to have unity in our heart towards the Father first. Everything starts with us first. So I just wanted to share with you today about unity in the body of Christ. Um, it was First Peter 3, 8 said, Finally, all of you have unity in mind. See, we both, all of us have to have unity in our mind. Unity is love. We, we, we must have the connection with you is sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind, a brotherly love, brotherly love, sister love. We, we have to have that unity. When the church is undefined by the Spirit of God and by their love for God and for one another, this act as a powerful bonding agent that helps them endure the storms of life much better as the body as an and as individual in order that together we may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this is eagerly maintaining the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. We must have peace with one another. Yes, the the body, we all are different members in the body, but we have to have one mind. He didn't say, you got to think this way and I got to think this way. We must come together in love, but brotherly love, tender-hearted, sympathy, and and a humble mind, we must be able to have that. Philippians 2, verses 2, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Oh my God, if a group of believers have the same mind, then they can do more together as a body in the church as a body in the home, when you have unity in the home. Just as the different members of our own physical body works in unison for our good. See, I can do this with my hands, but guess what? If the shoulders, the elbow do not come together and work together, I can do this. Because if this shut down, then I can't do this. So that's it. We have to come together as unity, as a body. My whole body cannot function with, without one working with the other. And that's where we have to come into. We are more than just many members. We are one body of one mind. 
we are not working together in the church. We are not working together as brother and sisters in the body of Christ. We have to come because everyone say, well, I got my ministry over here and my ministry and my, my, my. And, and it's not about that. It's coming as the body of Christ. We're working together. We, we, you don't want to be better than one person another and you think you higher than the other no we all have little members coming together and making a whole body my little finger here cannot function if all the veins and the muscles in from the elbow to the shoulders to the backbone everything working together so even though we coming together we need to come as a body in the body of Christ. We have to to, to come together. Even um, Corinthians 13, 11. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. He said, don't, don't disagree. Agree. Whether, whether it's good or bad. Because all things work together. Because the way he do it is the way the Father is showing him. It may not be the way you doing it. But can you agree with him? Can you walk with him? You know, a lot of people in the church, you know, have one vision. A pastor have a vision. And you come together. You don't know how it's going. But God give him come together, work together and say, well, brother, I will stand with you. Sister, I will help you in your ministry. doesn't matter what I will do or, or what it is. We all are the body of Christ and that's where we have to come in as one another, agreeing one with one another, live in peace and the God of love and peace will be with you. If you have conflict with yourself and you don't like what a brother is guess what you don't need to be there because if you have god of love and peace will be with you you don't want to bring confusion in the situation with another brother or sister so this is it paul said restoration to means to to bear to mend to repair or to complete Paul was saying, striving to repair or mending any broken relationship. That's what we need. Any broken relationship, we have to mend and, and, and bring it together. Help. We love one another. Comfort one another in the time of need. I, I lost my dad and I just wanted to share this. Um, everybody, you know, called me the first day. And guess what? I don't receive no calls again from anybody. I don't hear from nobody. And I just take back and I say, God, let me see who's going to call me and ask me, well, how am I doing? And it, it's sad that the body of Christ is doing. I, everybody know that my dad passed away and lots of people didn't even come to look for me, didn't even say anything they they just say you know just a few of them just and you know who you are who respond to me but guess what that was just the day or two days but we still grieving we still mourning but thank God for Jesus. Thank God I, I could mourn by myself. I go in my little corner. I'm, I'm not going to tell you I don't cry for my dad. Yes, I do. He's not here. He's in heaven. I see him, but I miss his presence. I miss talking with him. Now I go in heaven and I talk to him. But it's a different spiritual to natural. And, and it all connect. But I am not saying that I... I am in a pity party or waiting for somebody to call. No, I go around my day. I enjoy what I do. I make my jewelry. I, I sit and I spend time with the Father. The more time I spend with the Father is the more he brings to me. Colossians 3.14, And above all these put on love, which bids together everything together in perfect harmony. Oh my God, look at this. We have to be in 
put on love. He said, put on the love. Fake it until you make it. Well, it's not faking it. It's walking in it. It's saying, okay, today I want to have love in my heart. Today, so you can't, you keep constantly repeating it. I want to bless each one. I want to call somebody and make their day. Everything together in perfect harmony. I just don't want to give them a word. I just want to call them and say, hi, sister. I have a sister who lost her sister just about two weeks after I lost my dad. And she said, you mourning and you calling me to encourage me. I say, yes, I am. I want to encourage you because I don't know what it is to lose a sister, but I know how it is to lose a father. But I know we both in different mourning, different grieving situation. But I wanted to encourage my sister. I want to keep everything and not that i lost a cousin too i lost a brother and a cousin and my father in seven months oh my god but guess what because of the love of god i just praying for my cousins calling them up encouraging them and that's what we do i don't know I just do what I, I need to do. I don't have to hear from God before I call somebody to encourage them. No, I just, you know, I, my, let me see what my cousin is doing today. You know, I don't have to wait to hear from God. We have God in us. Whatever we do, we are doing in Him. We are not in the world. We are in the body of Christ. So we just call. We just do something. We don't have to wait to hear. That is what the, the Greek teachers, the church teachers, we don't have to do that. We just go on and do. Is there a mistake? No. Is there a sin? No. Just do. Just go do something good. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be naughty. You know, do not be sassy and, and and say some words that you... Be careful with your words that you say. Never be wise in your own sight. Romans 14, 19. Perhaps Paul knew that we need the help of God's Spirit to be in harmony. Yes, we do, with one another. And so he prayed that the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, Romans 15, 5. 1 Corinthians, um, Corinthians 1 and 10, I appeal to you. He was appealing, brothers and sisters, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree and that there be no division among you, but that you be in unity in the same mind and the same judgment. Be together. Come together. Let us walk in this unity. The Father is unity. If we have the Father, then we have, we know how to speak to people and how to encourage one another. Acts 4, 32. Now the full numbers of those who believe were of one heart and soul, and no one said that any of the things that belonged to him was his own, but they had everything in common. Wow, can it be said of us in the local church that all who believed were together and had all things in common and they were selling their position and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as, as had need? Think, they say, come together, be in one, everything in common. Let us go and help one another. Not my house must have better than your house. Come on, we are the body of Christ. No, we have to, do we share our resources with those who have little? Do we? Do we, even the little that we have, can we go and give it to somebody? Aren't we able to share our abundance with those who have no such abundance? Think about the unity. Think about the energy that God has given us to work with one another, help one another, encourage one another today. So I just want to encourage each and every one, stay in unity with the body, encourage one another. 
whatever resources you have share with one another it's not to build your own kingdom it's not what whatever god gave you is for you somebody else could go and do it but it's not from god they they don't have one store out there they have many stores and all god give gifts to each and talents to everyone they have different stores and different things that people do in and Everybody is successful. Everybody have their store there. So if God give you one thing to do, you could do the same thing. You could go make jewelry. You could go sew. You could, you could, you know, very good with computers and stuff. Do what God gave you. And some encourage somebody, hey, if you have a talent, go do your talent. Come, I will help you teach you. I will teach you how to make jewelry. I will teach you how to, to work together. Let's build a, a business together. Let us work together. You could do this. You could do that. Come together. Let us work together. But none of us wants to do that. It's about me, I, and myself. So if we are the body of Christ, let us act like the body of Christ and be in unity. Let us be in unity. One love. Let us stay together, help one another, be together, same mindset. So I thank you for listening again. Appreciate you all. Like my page, encourage one another to listen. Um, the more likes I get, it's the more it will go out on YouTube. Um, I put it on Facebook. Um, please encourage one another. This is just like ministering ministering to each and every one so i'm ministering to each and every one who is listening to this today so thank you for liking my page thank you because whatever god gave me i want to give to others if it's if it's this video that i'm making here to encourage one another be in unity be in love so thank you go on my page like my page go on on open doors collection where i put my my business out there my jewelry my handkerchief my pillows my oil and other things will come as the time goes by order i am here order it's all for the kingdom of god thank you thank you god bless and have an awesome day with god bye bye